This is practice problem number three for section 5.6, um, and this one is a little bit tricky. So first I want you to notice that the powers in the denominator for t are bigger than um, the numerator. So I'm going to let that denominator be the u. So I'm going to start off by rewriting this as the integral of 1 over 7t squared plus 9t to the fourth times 7t plus 18t cubed dt. So notice I just kind of undid the um, multiplication that got me that original fraction. So I'm going to let u equal the 7t squared plus 9t to the fourth, which means that du is going to give me 14t plus 36t cubed dt. So I don't have uh, a 14t plus 36t cubed. I've got a 7t uh, and an 18t cubed. So what I want to do is factor out a 2 from this binomial, and I'll have du equal to 2 times 7t plus 18t cubed dt. And now you can see that if we divide both sides by that 2, we'll match with what we have in the integral. So I have an indefinite integral here, so I don't, I don't have any um, more substitution to figure out. So I'm going to rewrite this as the integral of 1 over u times 1 half du. Well, the 1 half can come out in front, and I'll have the integral of 1 over u du. And we know that the integral of 1 over u is ln of u. In fact, we need an absolute value there. So we'll have 1 half the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. We talked about this in um, section 410. And replace that u back and we'll have 1 half natural log of the absolute value of 7t squared plus 9t to the fourth plus c. And that's our final answer.